So good afternoon, everyone. Am I audible? Good afternoon, sir. मेधा से हमारे राजेश जी जुड़ गए हैं और वो आप लोगों को प्रोपल्शन सिस्टम बीइंग यूज्ड इन ट्रेन आईटी के बारे में डिस्कस करेंगे और आप लोग इसको ज्यादा से ज्यादा इंटरैक्टिव बनाइए
वाइट का बैटरी बहुत ट्रेंड ट्रेंड हो रहा है good afternoon uh, welcome you all for uh, meda presentation on behalf of meda servo drives i am rajesh manager customer support uh, looking after this train sets so today in this uh, session we'll discuss about uh, tcms and its sub assemblies functions features and uh, meda control system for train 18 am i audible yeah, please give anyone uh, please give the response yes sir audible yes sir audible yes sir audible are i am so <clears throat> this uh, about train 18 of course now further we are going to call this as a train set 44 the train 18 is uh, earlier nomenclature uh, application point of your vande bharat express trains for this uh, vande bharat trains from meda point of view control system complete control system uh, excluding this uh, brake control and door control system major control part is from meda so for that uh, train 18 with uh, three phase ac propulsion from meda point of view we have given our uh, code as mae 675u version 2 because earlier uh, in indian railways so far two trains are working with uh, this uh, uh, train 18 with meda control system so those uh, trains control system we have given as uh, version 1 and as per rdso icf and uh, railway board further suggestions and changes now we have given this type name as version 2 and uh, further <clears throat> 44 train sets are uh, going to manufacture with uh, meda control system okay so about this uh, meda control system and uh, especially tcms and its uh, sub assemblies we'll discuss now in this session so before that uh, just i want to <clears throat> clear here that uh, as per icf and railway board uh, prebit queries finally rds4 released uh, this uh, specification number 196 2019 revision 0 uh, based on that it is uh, decided to manufacture the train set 44 for indian railways uh, by the indian railways okay. so for that uh, we are supplying control system and for this uh, train 18 development as compared to like see if you see emu and memo the percentage of motoring is uh, increased in this as it is a complete uh, air condition train and uh, it is going to work for uh, longer distances just as compared to emu memo applications are different and uh, these uh, when it comes to train it train application is different so in this percentage of motoring is uh, 
has been increased to 50% motoring concept. Right. So about this, we'll discuss. Here, before going to TCMS, uh, just uh, I'll brief about uh, this basic unit and track formation. So this train 18 is a 16 car formation, uh, consists of four basic units. And uh, by default, as per DSO and ICF, it is a, so far 16 car formation, but it can work up to 24 car formation. So this 16 car formation also combination of four basic units, char basic unit range, out of that two end basic units and two middle basic units. In any train, either it is 20 car formation or 24 car formation or 16, 12, minimum two, uh, matlab, uh, two end basic units are fixed and out of that, after that, uh, the number of middle basic units will get varied, right? So for this uh, default 16 car formation, two end basic units and two middle basic units, so end basic unit consists of uh, four coaches like DTC, MC, TC, MCT, or MC like. So driving trailer coach, motor coach, trailer coach, and motor coach. And similarly, two middle basic units, uh, which are uh, the middle basic units of the train. In this also, this MC, TC, MC2, everything is same. And uh, just uh, DTC is replaced by NDTC, non-driving trailer coach. Because beach mein jo hai, driving setup ka jarurat nahi hai. So, DTC coach and DTC se replace gaya hai, kiya gaya hai in uh, middle basic units. And all power components like uh, <coughs> this line and traction converters, auxiliary converter, air compressor, battery box, battery charger, brake chopper resistor, yes, are power related equipment, everything that is placed uh, under frame, under slung uh, of the coach like underslung components and uh, when it comes to coach electronics it is distributed across all the coaches power components uh, power converters jo bhi hai sara underslung mein provide kiya hai as it is a complete air condition train and uh, electronics coach electronics individual coach ke andar jo control system passenger compartments and everything tcms part everything jo hai ye electronics part sabhi coaches mein distribute kar rakha hai on board like it is inside the coach and here we can see this uh, end basic unit dtc mc1 tc1 mc2 driving trailer coach motor coach trailer coach and motor coach so here we can see every alternate coach is motor coach means it is a uh, 50% motoring coach so out of 16 coaches eight coaches are motorized coaches so here we can uh, we have given differentiation uh, with like a bed wheel and a block color wheel, a black color wheel. So that represents the uh, powered axles. Powered axles means uh, motorized axles. So her alternate coach jo hai, motor coach hai. So char coaches made two motor coach, yeah, out of 16 coaches, eight motor coaches. So because of that, we'll call it as 50% motoring concept. Okay. And as I discussed, kiya hai, uh, generally coaches for all the coaches uh, in general will divide into three sections like roof equipment, onboard equipment, and underslung equipment. Roof equipment, jo hai, in general, they get to only trailer coach is uh, provided with roof equipment. There it is uh, pantograph, VCB, surge rusters. Okay, these are all placed. And uh, RMPOs in each and every coach. RMPO roof mounted AC package unit wo roof may provide kya hai. and on board jo hai sara TCMS electrical control cabinet driver desk CCTV system PAS system uh, coach electronics everything jo hai on board coach ka inside may provide kya hai and uh, major power equipment sara jo hai under slung may provide kya and it is uh, in this also uh, when it comes to DTC coach here, battery bank, compressor, battery charger system. Okay, these are all placed in DTC underslung. Of course, DTC R and DTC both same. And uh, major to traction transformer is provided in this uh, TC coach traction transformer and as well as auxiliary converter unit. 
auxiliary converter unit placed in this uh, trailer coach. And uh, once pantograph raised and VCB closed, one supply comes to this transformer primary and the transformer has uh, uh, six secondary windings out of four uh, traction windings and two auxiliary windings. Two auxiliary windings, CDP aux converter ko jayenge. And uh, out of four traction windings, two traction windings comes to this MC1 coach and other two windings goes to MC2 coach for further functionality. And uh, MC coach ke under slang mein dekhe to, two line and traction converter as it is bogey control system. Each bogey ko supply provide karne ke liye yaha pe ek line and traction converter provide kiya hai. And in each bogey, two traction motors provided. So total motor coach is provided with four traction motors and uh, brake chopper resistor, earthing switch. These are all the major equipment in motor coaches. So this is just uh, for idea. Uh, next, when it comes to middle basic unit here, we can say this uh, uh, MC1, TC1, MC2, these are same, only NDTC replaced uh, this, uh, DTC. TTC coach is replaced with NDTC in middle basic units, non-driving trailer coach. And you have a complete rake formation. If you see this uh, 16 car formation. So here, uh, the picture we can see, this is a uh, old uh, existing two rakes formation. In this, uh, four basic units like uh, end basic unit one, middle basic unit two, but basic unit this third position and end basic unit to jo hai fourth position. What of this 16 power formation? Fourth basic unit, yani second middle basic end basic unit is rotated by 180 degrees. With this configuration, if we see in existing two train 18 train sets, total eight variants of coaches jo hai manufacture karna pad raha hai. To make it less in types of variants. Abhi, uh, ICF further is going to design like uh, uh, six variants only. So for that purpose, this uh, second basic unit, yane, first middle basic unit also rotated by 180 degrees. So that here eighth and ninth, both the coaches, executive class coaches out of 16 car formation, all the coaches are chair car uh, sitting. But uh, out of all the 16, two coaches are executive class coaches. Eighth position and ninth position, those two are executive class uh, coaches. The difference is that ki, uh, in general, all other coaches are two by three pattern, setting arrangement jo hai, two by three pattern. But when it comes to executive chair class, it is two by two. But the uh, beach may uh, walk where I and dono taraf two seater rahenge. And executive chair class may one more uh, the difference is that key they are uh, revolving uh, seats like you can rotate rotate by 360 degrees so other coaches may join two by three pattern the two fixed one so these are the difference uh, between NDTC non driving trailer coaches or executive class coaches with other uh, coaches in the train 18 formation okay. so this is about rake formation and basic unit levels. Next important specification details point of view, if we discuss, here already we have discussed like uh, four coaches per basic unit, and there are two types of basic unit, end basic unit and middle basic unit. And uh, as per standard, it is 16 car formation, four basic unit in train. But further, the specification is designed such that key, uh, specification saying that key, uh, this train should work up to 24 car formation based on the requirement for that. And uh, percentage of motoring, uh, as we discussed, like it is uh, 50 percent. And uh, service speed of the train is 160 kmph. As this comes under semi high speed category, so a train jo hai regular service speed, maximum service speed 160 kmph diya. And the test speed is it is a uh, service speed plus 10 percent in general 160 plus 10 percent 176. But uh, first two, two trains, which are trials, may it has touched up to 183 kmph also without any abnormality. So train worked up to 183 kmph, right? 
So <clears throat> next acceleration point of view from 0 to 40 km page uh, average acceleration. If you take it is a uh, 0.8 meter per square second. And acceleration is a uh, point meter uh, 1 meter per uh, square second. And the ambient temperature minus 10 degrees to 50 degrees. Now the specification change minimum temperature from minus 5 to minus 10. So minus 10 degrees to plus 50 degrees it can work. So these are all the general uh, details, specification details. And <clears throat> about scope of supply, what are all the items that major items? Uh, Hello. Yeah, yes, sir. Excuse me, sir. Uh, yes, sir, sir. Ambi ambient temperature जो minus 10 degree आपने दिया है, sir. तो इसमें अभी जो future की जो हमारे जो train sets होंगे, अभी future में suppose कि हम लोग जैन के region में भी जो अभी नए हमारे project जो चल रहे हैं, उसमें में भी कि ये train set आगे अगर हम हमें introduce करना हो, तो वहाँ पे क्या हमारा ये जो हमारा जो minus 10 degree है, ये minimum temperature हमारा इसी पे हमारे equipment tested है और इसके बियांड भी हम minus eighteen minus twenty degree तक जा सकते हैं। Generally sir, specification it is minus ten to fifty degrees, but working temperature point of view देखे तो each and every component जो है ये what we are using inside our equipment is military grade components, okay? उसका जो है components का ऊपर define होता है कि and even Minus 10 ni limitation hai. Specification saying that ki minus 10 to 50 it should work. Okay. Thik hai abhi specification ke hisaab se chal hai. Indian baaki hamare joh is tak hai sab me more madlab jyada tar me sab me yehi de rakha hai. Hmm. Tak gaya hai. But abhi joh hum log revise kar rahe hai. Chunki abhi Gen K and Lay region me bhi future me gaadiyan chal sakti hai. तो yes, हमें sir. ये अभी अभी हमको दोबारा एक्सरसाइज की जरूरत पड़ेगी कि क्या जो हमारे इक्विपमेंट्स हैं इलेक्ट्रिकल मैकेनिकल जो भी इक्विपमेंट्स हैं ये इस पे कंपैटिबल है क्या माइनस 20 माइनस 18 डिग्री पे ऑपरेशन की ट्रेन ऑपरेशन के लिए यस यस सर क्योंकि लो टेंपरेचर में मे बी कि कुछ उसमें फंक्शनलिटी में प्रॉब्लम आए या उसकी एफिशिएंसी कुछ रिड्यूस हो कुछ लिमिटेशन उसकी ऐसी क्या मतलब जो आपके ये जो इक्विपमेंट्स हैं ये क्या इस पे टेस्टेड हैं क्या लोअर टेंपरेचर पे नाउ जो स्पेसिफिकेशन भी बनाया एंड इवन ट्रेन्स मैन्युफैक्चर कर रहा है इट इज कीपिंग इन माइंड दैट कि पूरा थ्रू आउट इंडियन रेलवेज चलने का ऐसा नहीं कि नॉट ओनली इन सदरन साइड और ईस्टर्न साइड इवन नॉर्थ नॉर्थ कंप्लीट नॉर्थन साइड भी जो है वो सारा कीपिंग इन माइंड दैट कि वो डिजाइन कर रहा है तो फिर से उसका रिवाइज करके स्पेक चेक करने का वो सारा जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगा बिकॉज एग्जिस्टिंग इवन डेमो ट्रेन आल्सो वर्किंग इन नॉर्थ कंप्लीट आप जो एरियाज बता रहे हैं वहां पे भी काम कर रहा है हमारा इवन मेदा का कंट्रोल सिस्टम के साथ सो so, इसमें कोई ये प्रॉब्लम वरी नहीं है कि इंडियन रेलवेज में तो एनी इन इंडिया एब्सोल्यूटली इट कैन वर्क अभी अभी तो सब सही चल रहा है श्रीनगर तक भी हमारी बात हुई थी बट वो अभी जो कुछ जो हमारे जो कंप्रेसर यूनिट्स हैं जो न्यूमेटिक इक्विपमेंट्स हैं वो वो लाइक उसको आप फ्रीक्वेंटली जो है उसको जो है वो ड्रेन करते हैं बार बार नहीं तो क्या है कि अभी मान लीजिए कि अभी टेम्परेचर माइनस में माइनस ट्वेल्व डिग्री है तो वहाँ पे पता चला कि जो भी मॉइस्चर की वजह से मॉइस्चर की वजह हो सकता है कि हमारे जो नहरों ऐसे जो पोर्ट्स हो स्माल पोर्ट्स हो वो ब्लॉक हो जाए ये भी हो सकता है कि जो हमारा रबर आइटम्स हैं उनकी प्रॉपर्टी में कुछ चेंज हो जाए माइनस एटीन पे आगे नेक्स्ट रीजन स्टेज में हो सकता हम ले लद्दाख में भी कुछ मतलब प्लान कर सकें तो वही है सर वही है अभी चूंकि हम जैन के रीजन में इंटर कर गए हैं अभी भी जो है वो बता रहे हैं कि बाकी जो हमारे इंडियन की जो जबरफुल कंडीशन उसमें कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है वो चाहे हैवी रेन वाला पोर्शन हो उसे प्रॉब्लम नहीं है टेम्परेचर वाइज भी 50 डिग्री जो एम्बियंट टेम्परेचर मालिक यस यस सर आपका पॉइंट समझा हूँ सर बट इवन फर्स्ट टू ट्रेन्स में भी एक ट्रेन तो आप जानते होंगे ये काटरा तक है फ्रॉम दिल्ली टू काटरा सो वो एरिया भी खबर कर रहा है जी जी वो बता रहे हैं कि हमको अभी जो हम क्या करते हैं कि फ्रीक्वेंटली उसको ड्रेन करते हैं हाँ अभी उसमें प्रॉब्लम नहीं आ रही लेकिन उसके भी ऊपर हमको जाना नेक्स्ट दूसरा जो प्रॉब्लम आने वाला है कि अभी जो हमारे जो कंप्रेसर की जो वो क्योंकि वहाँ पे जो 
हाई अल्टीट्यूड पे जो एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर है वो कम हो जाएगा ले में इवन किए जाकर के पॉइंट सिक्स टू तक पहुंच जाएगा अब इसमें जो इस पे हमारे कंप्रेशर की जो कैपेसिटी होगी शायद वो हो सकता है कि 60 परसेंट फिफ्टी परसेंट रह जाए तो जो हमारे न्यूमेटिक इक्विपमेंट्स होंगे बाकी वो ऑपरेटिंग कंडीशन के हिसाब से उसको हमारी रिक्वायरमेंट को मीट कर पाएंगे कि नहीं उसका हम कैसे करेंगे ये सारी चीजें मुझे एक्सप्लेन कर दीजिए आपका कंसर्न सही है पॉइंट बट यहाँ पे जो ट्रेनिंग टीम में अभी मैन्युफैक्चर करके जो चल रहा है यहाँ पे काफी पावर बहुत ज्यादा ये करके डिजाइन किया गया है मार्जिन बहुत ज्यादा है सो दैट इवन इन जनरल जो है यहाँ पे थ्री कंप्रेसर्स नॉर्मली काम किया तो अभी हंड्रेड परसेंट विदाउट एनी इश्यू चलेगा नॉर्मली सो so, कल के दिन में आप जैसे बोल रहे हैं कि इसका एफिशियंसी कंप्रेशर का कमडाउन हो जाएगा और कैसे चलेगा क्या है तब भी आएगा तो प्रैक्टिकली देखने पर देन फर्दर वी कैन टेक फर्दर एक्शंस बट इन जनरल टू मे नॉलेज यहाँ पे कोई इश्यू नहीं आएंगे इंडियन रेलवे में एट एनी रीजन आप चलाएंगे तो भी प्रॉब्लम नहीं है पावर बहुत ज्यादा यहाँ पे रिक्वायरमेंट से ज्यादा डिजाइन किया गया है जी जी प्रैक्टिकली दो ही कंसर्न है हमारे जैसे जैसे चलता रहेगा देन बेस्टिशन हम फर्दर जो है इम्प्रोवाइज करेंगे ऐसा नहीं कि आज के डेट में मैन्युफैक्चर कर रहा है तो दिस इज फ्रीज डिजाइन बोल के नहीं है नहीं नहीं सर एक्चुअली क्या है अभी जैसे आएंगे तो लॉट ऑफ चेंजेस आएंगे वो सारा करके एक स्टेबलाइजेशन पॉइंट पे आएंगे तो ट्रेनिंग तो अभी जस्ट इनिशियल स्टेजेस पे है बट सोफर से सक्सेसफुली चल रहा है आप भी जानते हैं उसका फीडबैक नहीं इसमें कई बार सर जैसे बोर्ड से कोई आ गया एग्जामिनेशन के लिए प्रपोजल की आप एग्जामिन करिए कि स्टॉक वहां पे चल पाएगा या क्या कुछ प्रॉब्लम है तो ये पॉइंट्स कुछ हमको दिमाग में अगर रहेंगे कि हाँ हम उसको उसकी सुटेबिलिटी के लिए जो भी अगर रिकमेंड करते हैं या कुछ डॉक्यूमेंट स्क्रूटनी करते हैं तो वो हम हमारे पास कोई अगर बेस अगर ऐसा हो सपोज इसमें की ठीक है उसके बियॉन्ड जा सकता है लेकिन हम कहीं लेट डाउन नहीं है ऐसा हमारे पास कोई सपोर्टिंग डॉक्यूमेंट या कोई क्राइटेरिया ऐसा मान लीजिए कि यही सेम डिजाइन अगर कहीं यूरोपियन कंट्री में या जहां पर की टेम्परेचर सपोज माइनस एटीन तक जाते हैं माइनस ट्वेंटी तक जा रहे हो वहां पे सक्सेसफुली अगर चल रहे हो तो हम उसको बोल सकते हैं कि हाँ नहीं इसमें कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं आएगा अभी अभी बिना किसी कैलकुलेशन या बिना किसी सपोर्टिंग डॉक्यूमेंट के हमारे लिए भी कह पाना ये थोड़ा मुश्किल होता है तो मैं जानना चाह रहा था जी यस सर आपका पॉइंट सही है फर्दर जैसे जैसे चलता है देन विल सी सर सो फर तो नो इश्यू ओके यस सो फर्दर स्कोप ऑफ सप्लाई पॉइंट ऑफ यू हियर वी सी वन बाय वन आइटम लाइक इन दिस अट्रैक्शन ट्रांसफार्मर हर एक बेसिक यूनिट में इन ट्रेलर कोच वन ट्रैक्शन ट्रांसफार्मर विल बी प्लेस्ड हियर इन अंडरस्लन सो दिस ट्रैक्शन ट्रांसफार्मर एक्चुअली अवर स्कोप ऑफ सप्लाई बट वी आर नॉट मैनुफैक्चरिंग we are taking it from uh, jst make it is actually france based but uh, production unit is there in uh, pune so now in version 2 it is uh, 25 uh, 2550 kva rating uh, traction transformer in each uh, trailer coach okay pehle iska zyada tha 2880 tak now 2556 kva tak kar diya hai and lightning arrestors uh, from siemens before vcb and after vcb and uh, vcb along with earthing switch vcb jo hai atomator and schneider ka and earthing switch jo hai patra and chandra in companies se le raha hai and pantograph along with insulator so pantographs are uh, from shenk and these pantographs are special designed pantographs to uh, run at high speed up to 200 kmph uh, and uh, these are with uh, 400 ampere rating सो एक कॉन्सेप्ट ट्रेन एटीन में फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम यहाँ पे इम्प्लीमेंट किया है कि एज दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज प्रोवेन इन वर्ल्ड रेलवे अदर वर्ल्ड रेलवे सो ये है कि यहाँ पे बेसिक यूनिट चार बेसिक यूनिट फॉर्मेशन में देखे तो ईच बेसिक यूनिट में एक पैंटोग्राफ रहेंगे बट फंक्शनली इफ यू सी आउट ऑफ फोर पैंटोग्राफ्स ओनली टू पैंटोग्राफ्स विल बी इन रेज कंडीशन फॉर ऑल द टाइम ओके आउट ऑफ चार पैंटोग्राफ्स नॉर्मल गाड़ी चलने के टाइम पे दो ही पैंटोग्राफ्स रेजर कंडीशन में रहेगा एंड देर इज ए सिलेक्शन स्विच इन द ड्राइवर डेस्क सेइंग दैट की मोड पैंटो वन एंड फोर और पैंटो टू एंड थ्री सो पैंटो वन एंड फोर मोड में इन जनरल रहेंगे 
सो पैंटोग्राफ वन बेसिक यूनिट वन का एंड बेसिक यूनिट फोर का रेज कंडीशन में रहेगा एंड इफ यू चेंज द सिलेक्शन स्विच टू पैंटो टू एंड थ्री देन टू एंड थ्री पैंटोज विल बी इन रेज कंडीशन सो यहाँ पे ओनली टू पैंटोग्राफ्स रेज होके चार बेसिक यूनिट काम करने के लिए ये पैंटोग्राफ जो है हायर रेटिंग का और हाई स्पीड का डिफरेंट बनाया एंड यहाँ पे रूफ इक्विपमेंट में देखे तो सभी कोचेस के ऊपर 25 फाइव के वी केबल जो है ले आउट किया हुआ है 25 फाइव के वी केबल वो है इसलिए कि वंस पैंटोग्राफ वन रेज हुआ तो बेसिक यूनिट वन एंड उसके साथ साथ बेसिक यूनिट टू दोनों को सप्लाई पैंटोग्राफ वन से ही मिलेगा बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वो केबल जो है रूफ में ले आउट किया है एंड सिमिलरली वंस पैंटोग्राफ फोर रेज हुआ तो बी यू फोर एंड उसके साथ साथ बी यू थ्रू थ्री को भी सप्लाई जो है पैंटोग्राफ फोर से मिलेंगे एंड इफ यू रिक्वायर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज देन इफ यू सेलेक्ट द मोड टू पैंटो थ्री एंड टू एंड थ्रू देन वन एंड फोर डाउन होके टू एंड थ्री रेज हो जाएंगे सो so, ऐसा जो है ये ये फोर में कौन सा सर हाँ जी सर 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 द ओवर हेड ट्वेंटी फाइव के वी केबल इज नॉट बस बर टाइप सर इट वॉज नॉट कंटिन्यूस इट इज ए केबल अच्छा इट इज ए केबल विथ क्लीट्स एंड मैकेनिकल कंज्यूट वर्जन वन में तो मैकेनिकल कंज्यूट प्रोटेक्शन भी नहीं था ओनली क्लैंपिंग करके रखा था अभी प्रॉपर क्लैंपिंग एंड विथ मैकेनिकल प्रोटेक्शन इट इज ए केबल लाइक वट एवर द ट्वेंटी फाइव के वी केबल जनरली पैंटो से अट्रैक्शन ट्रांसफार्मर तक आता है द सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ केबल जो है सभी कोचेस के ऊपर ले आउट किया हुआ है ओके सो ये एज इट इज बिकॉज ये कॉन्सेप्ट ये है कि इसलिए कि वाई नॉट फोर ऑल द फोर पैंटोग्राफ्स इन रेज कंडीशन वो पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू फिर डिस्कस यहाँ पे ये एज इट इज अ सेमी हाई स्पीड ट्रेन विच रन सेट वन सिक्सटी के एम पी एच इतना हाई स्पीड में ऑल द फोर पैंटोग्राफ जो है वो एच ई से मतलब कनेक्ट होके चल रहा है तो देन वो एच ई लाइन के ऊपर ज्यादा दबाव आएंगे बोल के ये एक कॉन्सेप्ट है सो so, ये कॉन्सेप्ट इसलिए है कि ये फॉरन रेलवेज में भी implement to and they are working successfully so the same concept implemented in train 18 also and from past two years uh, our two trains are working fine without any issue okay next uh, next scope of supply igbt based line and traction converter so this igbt is the latest switching device so all our converters inverters rectifiers and all we are using igbt is only as a switch insulated gate bipolar transistor actually it's a transistor family and the latest switching device okay sabhi hamara converters inverters sabhi jagah jo hai igbt se istemal kar raha hai so ye igbt based line and traction converters uh, version 1 mein hum air cooled converters design kiya tha but due to practical problems and issues uh, now we have gone for uh, water cooled converters Line and traction converter जो है water cooled converters है and uh, these converters are purely from Meda our make and our scope of supply. In each motor coach, two two line and traction converter जो है provide किया जाएगा. LHS RHS. Next self ventilated fully suspended AC traction motors. AC traction motors induction motors या asynchronous traction motors use कर रहे हैं यहाँ पे हम and these are also from Meda. Actually, for this we have made a joint venture with one uh, Austrian-based company called Traction Systems, TSA. TSA is a joint venture. करके यहाँ पे in uh, Hyderabad only our uh, just beside our production premises we have made a joint venture company called uh, MTEPL, Meda Traction Equipment Private Limited. And there uh, technology is uh, from TSA, but uh, production, sales, service, support, everything from Meda. So, in this. uh one more thing that ki yahan pe fully suspended technology we are using to make a light load on the axle uh fully suspended technology is very useful isme traction motors technology mein generally dekhe to there are two types of technology like uh, no suspended and fully suspended normal emu memu other uh, so far trains mein generally dekhe to hum no suspended technology motors istemal kar rahe hain नो सस्पेंडेड मींस जिसमें जहां पे ट्रैक्शन मोटर जो है वो बोगी एंड एक्सेल के ऊपर उसका वेट आता है एक्सेल इन द सेंस लाइक उसके ऊपर एमएस मेन सस्पेंशन यूनिट और कैनन ट्यूब एंड ट्रैक्शन बोगी दोनों में बैठेंगे ट्रैक्शन मोटर बट व्हेन इट कम्स टू फुल्ली सस्पेंडेड टेक्नोलॉजी 
traction motor completely sits only in bogey and through pinion and gear mechanism it connects with the bull gear okay axle bare axle rahenge with the bull gear so bull gear and pinion connect okay wo and uh, drive karega so to make it light load on the axle uh, this technology is very useful like fully suspended technology for faster pickup and higher accelerations this technology and one more in this is self ventilated self ventilated means uh, for in general for traction motor cooling will provide external cooling blowers but here for this uh, fully uh, self ventilated technology there is no requirement of additional cooling blower traction motor ka rotor ka shaft ke upar hi ek uh, mechanical fan arrangement hai so that whenever traction motor rotate hoga so that uh, suction uh, blower mechanical fan acts as suction blower and that sucks the atmospheric air and cool the motor and the hot air will be exhausted through its uh, ventilation grids okay so that's why we we'll call it as a self ventilated fully suspended ac motor so earlier dc motors use karte the abhi ac motor hai to make it less maintenance and uh, because of its lot of advantages and as the uh, world railways is switching completely from ac traction dc traction to ac traction even uh, in our train sets also we go we have gone for uh, ac traction motors and in general these are uh, squirrel cage asynchronous traction motors or induction motors and its continuous rating is uh, 210 kilowatts in version 2 now 210 kilowatts continuous rating traction motors we are using from meda in each traction mo motor coach uh, will use four traction motors right is it clear so at any time uh, if you have any point you can raise your uh, query sir so that uh, i'll try to answer you next auxiliary converter with uh, 415 volts and 110 volts dc this is also this aux converter is also from purely from meda uh yahan pe uh, in each and every trailer coach trailer coach auxiliary converter uh, provide kiya gaya hai so auxiliary converter is basically for to provide the operating supply to the auxiliary loads like yahan pe compressor uh, cab ac uh, a complete air conditioning system in the coaches then all additional cooling blowers uh, and uh, 110 volts dc jo hai for battery charging then all lights all control system all these uh, auxiliary machines or loads works on two different voltages so 415 volts three phase ac supply and 110 volts dc supply to generate these low voltages auxiliary converter is provided per basic unit and uh, this auxiliary converter further divided into two parts like aux converter 1 and aux converter 2 each 186 kva rating converter in version 2 each 186 kva converter and of course further we'll discuss in detail so these auxiliary converters also from meda and uh, ye jo hai har ek basic unit ke liye ek aux converter trailer coach ka underslung mein provide kiya hai and these are uh, air cooled converters next further our main topic like uh, tcms train control and management system for entire train control okay yahan pe here uh, the power is divided into different places in train like number of basic units right so from the lead coach driver runs the train so jaise throttle commands driver uh, train kaam karne ke liye operate kar raha hai so all those commands will be distributed to individual basic units and uh, in individual basic unit the power will be finally generated and it will be utilized for traction function and as well as for total load train uh, auxiliaries so ye sara train mein communication ye pura jo hai controlling and management ke liye jo electronics distribute kiya hai train level mein us electronics overall includes uh, even communication system yahan pe we are using this uh, ethernet based communication so all together all electronics and uh, communication finally we'll call it as tcms train control and management system so this is also purely from meda so ye jo hai sabhi coaches mein distribute karke rahega electronics and this air supply for brake system so in this train generally here uh, braking is divided into two parts like electro pneumatic brake and as well as electro dynamic brake where we'll call it as a uh, regenerative brake or electro dynamic brake so yahan pe for electro pneumatic brake application 
this air supply, compressor, filter, dryer, and all, uh, it is from like uh, POs, production units, uh, either ICF, RCF, MCF, uh, taking directly from other suppliers. Like in general, it is uh, from NORBRIMS and uh, existing uh, rates. Okay. For uh, pneumatic brake application point of view, the pressure will be generated by using this compressor filter dryer set. As I said, it will come as air supply unit. Maybe uh, each basic unit may provide kya jayega. Uh, it is in uh, DTC or NDTC coach under slug. And next, when it comes to driver desk, each DTC coach is provided with one driver desk in driver cabin. And this driver desk is again from MEDA, complete driver desk along with its all uh, master controller, display unit, switches, gauges, indication lamps, wiring, everything. Of course, uh, some of the items you are taking from uh, even outside, uh, like master controller, gauges, uh, switches and all. But remaining like uh, overall integration, display unit, speed recorder, everything will provide. And uh, in front of the driver, for train level controls, there is a display uh, provided, part of TCMS, called as DDU, driver display unit. Our ADDU you had 10.4 inch size uh, LCD screen uh, with TFT technology. Liquid crystal display with thin film transistor technology ke saath mein, ye display jo hai driver ke saamne, extreme left side rahega. And iske bagal mein one more display is, uh, provision is given in driver desk. That is a part of like uh, TPWS or TCAS or ATP. Train level production ke liye jo bhi system provide karenge, uska display unit aayega further wahan. And in front of even assistant driver also one more the display unit is there. That is in general, uh, design for application of CCTV, closed circuit television, and the same can be used as guard display also. Guard becomes CCTV display, driver desk may guard ke taraf provide kiya gaya hai. So this complete driver desk is from uh, MEDA, and the train may dekhe to each DTC may ek driver desk provide kiya jaya. Next, complete pneumatic brake with the brake control electronics. Okay, this is also from again from uh, production units. So, in general, it is from Norbrems in first two trains are taken from Norbrems. So, pneumatic, electro pneumatic brake system, electro pneumatic brake system with the latest generation control electronics called uh, BECU, brake electronic control units. So, each bogey wise control link possibility is there here. So, that is from ICR uh, production units uh, scope, they will take from suppliers directly. And next PAS, passenger information system. This PAS is from uh, MEDA again. So like Metro trains here, uh, audio visual information about the train running conditions. So pe like uh, even of course, even EMU, MEMU, other trains may be provided nowadays. So the same system, GPS based uh, passenger information system is placed in this uh, train 18, uh, train set 44 also. Excuse me, sir. ये आपका जो एक लोड वेइंग सिस्टम है टीसीएस से कनेक्टेड है यस ये आपका मेधा का है इसमें ट्रेन सेट में या नोरब्रेम से का है एक्चुअली सर द कंट्रोल पार्ट ऑफ यू द सेंसिंग मैकेनिज्म एंड कंट्रोलिंग इज फ्रॉम मेधा सर हार्डवेयर इज फ्रॉम अदर्स एग्जैक्टली आई डोंट मैं मॉर्निंग में कुछ इश्यूज हमारे थे एक्चुअली इसमें जो आपका लोड वेइंग सिस्टम है अभी इसी में से कनेक्टेड है जो लोड कैलकुलेशन करके ये ब्रेक कितने कितना ब्रेक लगाना है उसमें लोड के हिसाब से वो आपका लोड विंग सिस्टम से प्रेशर सेंसर के थ्रू जो कि हमारा न्यूमेटिक सस्पेंशन में लगा है उसे सेंस करके कैलकुलेट करके जो है वो ब्रेक अप्लाई करता है यस सर डायनेमिकली जो है आपका जो लोड विंग सिस्टम है उसको पैरेलल में जो यूज किया जा रहा है वो एयर स्ट्रिंग फेलियर इंडिकेशन सिस्टम के तौर पे भी यूज किया जा रहा है यस सर सेफ्टी पॉइंट सेफ्टी पॉइंट क्या ये तो एक्चुअली अब प्रोवाइड हो गया एक तरीके से हमें प्रोवाइड करना ही है कोई सिस्टम लगाना है यस सर बट इसमें क्या है कि हम देख रहे हैं पहले भी जो मेधा के कुछ हमारे थ्री पेज उसमें ईएमयूज वगैरह में जो सिस्टम इस टाइप के प्रपोज किए गए थे उसमें भी कुछ प्रॉब्लम ये क्या है कि सेम जो सिग्नेचर है उसको यूज करते हैं सेम कंडीशन ब्रेक कैलकुलेशन के लिए और एयर स्ट्रिंग फेजियर इंडिकेशन को भी 
आइडेंटिफाई करने के लिए वही सेम यूज करते हैं कि अगर मान लीजिए कि एक किसी एयर स्प्रिंग का सपोज कि लेफ्ट साइड की एयर स्प्रिंग फेल है तो अभी क्या है कि वो राइट वाली अगर मान लीजिए कि वो ठीक है तो ब्रेक पॉइंट आप दूसरे ये शो करेगा कि ठीक है राइट में जो पैसेंजर बैठे हैं जितनी उसमें सपोज थ्री के जी पर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर का प्रेशर है इट मीन्स की ये एक जो सेंसर लेफ्ट साइड का हो सकता माल फंक्शनिंग हो खराब हो गया हो डिस्कनेक्ट हो गया हो तो ब्रेक पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से वो कोई रिलैक्सेशन उसमें नहीं होगा थ्री के जी का प्रेशर जितने लोड पे बनता है उसके हिसाब से कैलकुलेट करके लोड और वो उसमें ब्रेक अप्लाई करेगा फाइव के जी का प्रेशर है तो फाइव के जी के अकॉर्डिंग भी ओवरलोडेड कंडीशन में है तो उसके हिसाब से फुल ब्रेक अप्लाई करेगा ताकि जो कटिंग डिस्टेंस पे जो है हमारी गाड़ी रुक जाए बट हमारा जो एयर स्प्रिंग अगर मान लीजिए एक प्रेशर सेंसर फेल नहीं है सपोज कि हमारा एयर स्प्रिंग ही फेल है जिस कारण से उधर प्रेशर जो है वो ड्रॉप हो रहा है तो इसमें क्या करते हैं कि आपका जो कंडीशन को आ, मतलब आ, आ, उसमें आइडेंटिफाई करने के लिए वो दोनों का एवरेज करके ले लेते हैं कि अगर एक में मान लीजिए कि दो सिस्टम चल रहे हैं एक में कि जो अगर राइट साइड का थ्री के है तो थ्री के जी मानते हुए ही हम उसको हेल्दी सस्पेंशन सिस्टम को मानते हुए ब्रेक तो अप्लाई कर देंगे लेकिन उसमें एयर स्प्रिंग का फेलियर जो है ओवरलुक हो जाएगा अगर मान लीजिए कि यहाँ पे एक पॉइंट सर आई वांट टू टू डिस्टर्ब यू यहाँ पे जैसे ही एयर स्प्रिंग सस्पेंशन का फेलियर सिस्टम डिटेक्ट करेगा वहां पेली ट्रेन स्पीड विल बी रिस्ट्रिक्टेड टू सिक्सटी के एमपीएच जी ये होता है होना चाहिए सर बट yes. अगर मान लीजिए कि एक्चुअल उसमें से प्रेशर ड्राप हुआ है तो yes, सपोज मान लीजिए कि लेफ्ट साइड का प्रेशर सेंसर माल फंक्शन कर रहा है या वो खराब हो गया so, काम नहीं कर रहा करके वी कैन वर्क अप टू इट्स मैक्सिमम रेटिंग वैल्यू सर लेकिन अब अब उसमें क्या है कि आपका जो हमारी जो आपका जो उसमें ब्रेक तो अप्लाई होगा नहीं स्प्रिंग उसका जो एयर स्प्रिंग जो है वो ट्रेन भी वो सिक्सटी के पे आएगी नहीं और जबकि ट्रेन होगी उसमें आ, मतलब आ, उसमें आपका एक तरीके से जो पॉइंट एक मिनट सर जस्ट लेंथी एक मिनट सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आप दो पॉइंट है सही में में तो एयर स्प्रिंग में स्पीड रिस्ट्रिक्ट किया जाएगा जी ओनली जैसे आप बता रहे हैं कि सेंसिंग इश्यू है तो हम डी से बाईपास कर सकते हैं बाईपास करने में स्पीड विल बी अलाउड टू इट्स मैच फ्रॉम वन सिक्सटी के एंड विद limitation we can work up to it's 160 there yes, yes. it also will work normally nahi so, but hame aisa ah. aisa hame pata chalna chahiye ki aapka pressure sensor kharab hai ya vastav mein hamara air spring fail hai dusri baat agar air spring maan lijiye ki fail nahi bhi hai abhi lekin hmm. humko gaadi ko without this jo safety system jo hamara air spring failure indication batane ki condition mein ho विदाउट उसके अगर हम प्रोसीड कर रहे हैं जब प्रेशर सेंसर ही माल फंक्शनिंग कर गया खराब हो गया तो अगर एयर स्प्रिंग फेल भी हो जाती है तो उसको हम आपका जो टीसी में के थ्रू जो है हमारा कम्युनिकेशन वहां पे नहीं हो पाएगा जो नहीं सर सुनिए फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सिस्टम को पता नहीं है कि एग्जैक्टली वहां पे एयर स्प्रिंग फेल हुआ है कि नहीं बेस्ड ऑन सेंसर वैल्यू इफ इट इज लेस देन वन के पर स्क्वेयर सेंटीमीटर वन बार सिस्टम जो है फेल करेगा और स्पीड को रिस्ट्रिक्ट करेगा विद अप्रोप्रिएट फॉल्ट मैसेज एंड इंडिकेशन नेक्स्ट जो है डिस्प्ले यूनिट के ऊपर क्लियरली पता चलेगा हमको कि स्पीड क्यों रिस्ट्रिक्ट हुआ है फर्दर जो है हम गाड़ी जब स्टॉप होंगे या स्टॉप करके देखना है फिजिकली वी है फॉल्ट इज विद सही में बेलो फेल है कि या नहीं तो सेंसिंग सिस्टम का है सही में है तो विदाउट एनी मतलब बाईपासिंग वी शुड वर्क द ट्रेन लाइक दैट ओनली बिकॉज एज इट इज फेल फिजिकली राइट एंड वैसा नहीं है सेंसिंग इश्यू है तो सेंसिंग का प्रॉब्लम है तो देन हम डिस्प्ले के थ्रू बाईपास करके गाड़ी को फर्दर 160 तक चला सकते हैं अभी आपका पॉइंट उसमें उसमें क्या है एवरेज कैलकुलेट करते हैं ना जो दोनों एयर स्प्रिंग का प्रेशर है उसकी मीन वैल्यू एवरेज करके सिग्नेचर वहां से लेते हैं उसको फेलियर को आइडेंटिफाई करते हैं जो कि हम उसको नहीं 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 सर सुनिए एवरेजिंग का कोई कॉन्सेप्ट नहीं है यहाँ पे फेल्यूर ईच बोगी में चार बेलोस है हर एक का सेंसर वैल्यू हम मॉनिटर करते हैं 
सिस्टम जो है कम्प्लीट वहां पे फॉल्ट डिक्लेयर कर देंगे नहीं बट अभी तक जो हमारे पास जो डॉक्यूमेंट हमने देखे है उसमें यही है की वो दोनों साइड का हम हर डॉक्यूमेंट में ही कमेंट देते हैं कि नहीं 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 क्या है कि हमको हमको जो स्प्रिंग फेलियर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से क्लियर कट उसमें क्या बोगी वेट कैलकुलेशन का या लोड कैलकुलेशन का इशू होना ही नहीं चाहिए सीधे जो क्लियर कट की प्रेशर अगर बिलो वन हो रहा है तो वो एयर स्प्रिंग फेलियर इंडिकेशन जो है हमारा शो करना चाहिए उसमें यहाँ पे सुनिए सर आपको पॉइंट नहीं समझ रहे यहाँ पे कुछ में चार बिल्लोस है उसका सेपरेट हम प्रेशर मेजर कर रहा है राइट एंड बिल्कुल बिल्कुल मेजर करते हैं जी आउट ऑफ फोर एक भी फेल हुआ तो देन वो डिक्लेयर फेल राइट सर ये वन टू वन बाद में डिस्कस करेंगे सर इतना लोगों के सामने अभी जो है लेंथी इतना लेंथी डिस्कशन कर रहा है तो मैं तो कहीं डिबेट हो जा रहा है सो आपका कोई वन फर्दर मेरे से हम बात कर लेंगे हम ठीक है सर राइट ठीक है सर अच्छा ओके ओके राइट आपका पॉइंट तो आई थिंक मैं एड्रेस कर दिया होगा जो एग्जैक्टली कैसे होगा फंक्शनलिटी आई हैव एक्सप्लेन टू यू नहीं सर बट डॉक्यूमेंट जो हमारे पास तो कुछ तो सुनिए सर फर्दर इवन इन डिटेल में और आपको कुछ पॉइंट है देन वी विल डिस्कस वन टू वन ये कॉमन प्लेटफॉर्म जी जी ठीक है वन टू वन में डिस्कस करेंगे राइट सर जी जी या थैंक यू नेक्स्ट यहां पे कंट्रोल पैनल्स विद कॉन्टैक्टर्स रिलेस ब्रेकर्स एवरीथिंग जो है ईच एंड एवरी कोच में जो टीसीएमएस का कंट्रोल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स है सभी कुछ इसमें डिस्ट्रीब्यूट किया गया है सेइंग एज ईसीसी इलेक्ट्रिकल कंट्रोल कैबिनेट्स हर एक कोच में एक इलेक्ट्रिकल कंट्रोल कैबिनेट प्रोवाइड करेंगे और उसके अंदर पूरा उस कोच का कंट्रोल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक जो है प्रोवाइड किया जाएगा एंड व्हेन इट कम्स टू डीटीसी वो ई को हम सी पैनल कहेंगे ड्राइवर के पीछे कैब रियर वॉल पैनल और इस कैब रियर वॉल पैनल के अंदर इट कंटेंट्स Uh, that particular coach level controls and as well as entire train level controls, because DTC coach from there only the signals will be generated by the driver or motorman. So complete train level controls also provided in CRW panel. So these panels are purely from Meda. Next load weighing system as we abhi tak jo discuss kiya humne load weighing system jo sensing system and controlling Meda ke taraf se hai. फिजिकल हार्डवेयर कम्प्लीटली जो है जो एग्जिस्टिंग सेटअप जैसे यूज कर रहा है एज इट इज एग्जिस्टिंग स्कीम ओनली यहाँ पे प्रोवाइड किया है तो उसका हर एक कोच में चार बिल्लोस आया तो चार बिल्लोस का प्रेशर मेजर करते हुए जैसे आर डी एस वो बताया एज पर दैट हियर वी आर मॉनिटरिंग द प्रेशर एंड कैलकुलेटिंग द लोड इवन अकॉर्डिंगली वी अप्लाई द ब्रेक एंड विल गो फॉर एयर सस्पेंशन फेल्यूर केस ऑल्सो लिमिटेशन यहाँ पे कोई भी कोच में कोई भी एक बेलो भी फॉल्टी हुआ तो देन द स्पीड विल बी रिस्ट्रिक्टेड टू 60 के एमपीएच टू प्रोवाइड फर्दर सेफ्टी नेक्स्ट दिस सेंसिंग सिस्टम फ्रॉम मेदा एंड नेक्स्ट केबल्स केबल्स एंड इंटर व्हीकुलर कपलर्स केबल्स यानी विद इन द कोच फ्रॉम सब असेंबली टू सब असेंबली ऑल दिस वायर्स दैट कम्स अंडर केबल्स एंड इवन इंटर व्हीकुलर कपलर्स फ्रॉम कोच टू कोच कोच टू कोच we'll call it as inter vehicle couplers so these are also from uh, rds for approved vendors like um, uber and sohner uh, chm radiant all these are all rds for approved cables so from there we'll take this cables and inter vehicle couplers next complete door control system this is again from uh, norbrems of uh, first to two trains uh, taken from uh, icf rcf mcf whoever manufacturing the train sets they'll take uh, directly from other oems so it is not uh, from meda and coach air conditioning system and cab air conditioning system so ye coach air conditioning system jo hai in first two rates we have taken from sidwal but now it is uh, from amit engineers uh, punjab based company and after that cab air conditioning system it is again from amit engineers earlier we have taken from subros in first two trains coach air conditioning system point of view in each and every coach there are two rmpu units rmpu is called like a roof mounted ac package unit uh, in each coach two rmpu units each 8 ton rating 8 tons rating uh, so total in a single coach uh, 16 tons rating air conditioning system and when it comes to cab air conditioning it is a 2 ton rating only for driver cabin 2 ton rating 
air conditioning system and both are taken from Amit engineers now for next to train set 44. So these are all the major equipment uh, part of scope of supply from uh, MEDA and other major uh, OEMs. Next, when it comes to power scheme and architecture, uh, that uh, block diagram of uh, TCMS architecture we'll discuss. Uh, before that, power scheme in train 18, if we discuss. So here <coughs> we can find this uh, scheme uh, uh, showing here for one uh, motor coach, right? So once here, once Panto raised and VCB closed, the current flows through this uh, traction transformer primary through CT and return CT, and through its uh, axle rail wheel, it will get close return path. And here there is a HVPT to measure the voltage. CT, current transformers are for current measurement and uh, HVPT is for voltage measurement. With that, the train load will be calculated by the system. And this traction transformer, JST make transformer, uh, provided with the six secondary windings, out of six, four traction windings and uh, two auxiliary windings. So, you have a power scheme only two traction windings for easy understanding for one motor coach. So, this is a secondary winding number one and uh, number two secondary windings. Each winding output will go to one line and traction converter. This is one line and traction converter. So, first, this step down low voltage, whenever the input is 25 kV. Each secondary winding, uh, this transformer uh, traction winding generates 950 volts single phase AC. When the input is 25 kV, secondary may ye generate karega 950 volts. And that 950 volt supply comes to this uh, uh, line converter. Before this line converter, there is a pre-charging and main contactor concept. As the same concept, it is uh, existing available in electric locomotive. This pre-charging circuit is uh, in the initial, whenever we'll raise the pantograph for the first time, this pre-charging circuit will come in picture because uh, here the DC link for the first time it is zero volts and the uh, input may 950 volts. Rayaga. So directly if you go for energize enclosing the main contactor, then the DC link uh, demands uh, with the heavy currents. So to avoid heavy interest currents during initial time, this pre-charging circuit is taken in line and traction converters. So in the initial, just for uh, seconds, uh, three, four seconds, the system energizes the pre-charging contactor so that these resistors come into picture as the current limiting resistors. And once, whenever the DC link reaches to uh, 80 to 90 percent of the required, required voltage, then system opens the close the main contactor and opens the precharging circuit precharging contactor so this is what the function of this precharging circuit and once main contactor closes directly the supply comes through this and here this is igpt based line converter single phase line converter which acts as rectifier during motoring during motoring application a rectifier just a calm karke Whatever may be the 950 volts single phase 58 supply, that will be converted into DC and it will maintain at constant DC link voltage with unity power factor. Unity power factor ka mean ye hai ki, uh, there is no losses AC side. Okay. There are no any losses AC side. So for that purpose, this line converter, that is the function of line converter, rectification and maintaining the constant DC link voltage with unity power factor and that DC link voltage also will be maintained constant at 1800 volts DC, 1800 volts, 1800 volts, 1800 volts DC and further here across this DC link, <clears throat> there is a capacitor bank to store the char and uh, to suppress the AC ripples and further to allow the pure DC to the traction converter. And across this DC link only, it is uh, there is a circuit called a brake chopper circuit with a IGBT module and diode and uh, with a series resistor and a CT current transformer. So this is for over voltage protection. In general, the DC link voltage should be maintained at 1800 volts DC with respect to of input output load variations or fluctuations. 
uh, as per in general, we'll call it as uh, nominal supply 25 kV, but as per specification, it should work between 16 to 30 kV. Even though the input voltage may be 16 kV or 30 kV, always the DC link voltage should be maintained at 1800 volts DC, 1800 volts DC. And because of any abnormality, if the voltage shoots and touch to set value, then the brake chopper will come into picture. This uh, uh, IGBT module will be switched by the system with the PWM signal. And then this uh, resistor will come as additional load on the DC link and which shows the over and above voltage. And whenever the DC link will come back to normal operating range, then that will be again disconnected from the circuit. That is the function of DC link, uh, brake chopper circuit. Okay, this is what about brake chopper. And after that, there is a earth leakage detection circuit here. This is called earth leakage detection circuit, ELD. From traction transformer secondary to traction motor. Anywhere in this circuit, either DC side, AC side, motor side, or traction transformer secondary side, if any power cable is grounding, then this ELD, earth leakage detection circuit, detects that leakage current. And if it goes out of range, then it declares the fault and that particular LTC will be disconnected from the traction. So it is to provide the safety again, ELD earth leakage detection circuit, right? It is clear. So then next this pure DC, further it comes to traction converter. Again, it is also IGBT based converter. And this traction converter converts, uh, it's a three phase inverter during motoring. So which converts that uh, DC supply, DC link supply 1800 volts DC into variable voltage, variable frequency output. Here we can find this uh, IGBT, six IGBTs uh, connected in three legs as one three phase uh, inverter, which converts the DC into three phases supply. Though the IGBT series may across rectified output connect kiya hai, and from the midpoint of each leg, a phase AC liya hai. So three legs generates three phase AC, and this output we'll call it as VVF output, variable voltage, variable frequency output. 0 to uh, 1400 volts uh, AC, uh, line to line uh, voltage, and 0 to 160 hertz frequency. That is the variable voltage, variable frequency, maximum ranges. And through CTs, and here it is a bogey control system, as it is bogey control system, each line and traction converter provides the supply to two, two traction motors. One converter provides the supply to two traction motors. Okay, similar way, the other LTC, like. There are two line and traction converters in each motor coach. The same functionality here also, this line converter also does the same function. And these line and traction converters, water cooled converters, there is a specific coolant. Uh, uh, we have taken uh, ethylene glycol 30% and uh, mineral water 70% composition. So that coolant is using for the cooling of this line and traction converters in version 2 system. Okay. So this is about power scheme in uh, train 18. In all the motor coaches, same. So the same, this is applicable for all the eight motor coaches. Is it clear, sir? Are any point to discuss sir, in this? Sir, no. Yeah, yeah please. Sir, sir, this connection is the motor coach one ka hai, na motor coach one, two, dono ka hai. Sir, yahan pe only motor coach one ka dikha raha hai. Motor coach so, one mein... Motor coach Hello, mein do bogey hai. Sunye, ek motor coach mein do bogey hai. Each bogey mein Traction motor one and two. Traction motor three and four. Matlab ye jo hai ek motor coach ka hai. Clear? Haan, clear. But sir, transformer to Taylor coach mein ek hi hai na sir. Transformer jo Yes, yes sir. Mai isi liye pahile bataya hao ki yaha pe only do winding dikha raha hai. But aisa aur do winding rahega bolke bataya tha mene. Clear? Because Haan. already aki dekhi hai. Pura chota ho gaya scheme. Hum yedi aur do winding aur do line traction converter wo dikha hai to bilkul dikhe ga hi nahi. So for better understanding, traction transformer to same hai but char winding nahi to hi winding dikha hai. In fact, a winding rahega. Traction winding aur do auxiliary winding. Clear? Okay sir. Yes sir. Yeah. Three phase output jo hai sir kitne volt ka rahega zero se kitne volt? 0 to 1400 volts, sir. Line to okay, okay, sir. Maximum. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. 
So this is about power scheme, and of course, even further also, we'll discuss about in detail about this line converter and traction converter. And next, when it comes to control part, control electronics part, so far we have discussed about power electronics part, power scheme, how uh, power is flowing from uh, panto to traction motors. And one more in this Bulgaria. Um, so, ye jo power flow panto se lekar motor tak jo dekha hai, this is during motoring condition. But in this train sets, when we apply the brake by using the master controller, first system applies electrodynamic brake in all the motor coach, motor coaches. And if that braking effort is not sufficient, then it will take the help of electro pneumatic brake. So here it is a combination of uh, both electro electrical and pneumatic braking. This is called blended braking or brake blending. So in all the motor coaches, regenerative will take place by using electrodynamic braking. So electrodynamic braking may kyaoga, the freely rotating traction motors acts as generators. Instead of taking load, it generates its output. For that purpose, we'll uh, control uh, continuously, we'll measure the uh, rotor speed and uh, we reduce the synchronous speed than the rotor speed so that uh, automatically it acts as generator. Instead of working as motor, so it works as generator and that kinetic rotating energy will convert back into electrical energy three phase. And that three phase AC supply comes to this traction converter, where this traction converter acts as three phase full wave bridge rectifier. Instead of acting during motoring, it is working as inverter. But now in braking, it acts as rectifier and converts the three phase AC supply into DC. And that to 1800 volts DC will be maintained constant by the traction converter during braking. And same 1800 volts DC comes back to this line converter. And this line converter, now it acts as a single phase inverter. During motoring, it is acting as rectifier. Now, this IGBT based line converter acts as single phase inverter and converts the 1800 volts DC into single phase AC. And that single phase AC, uh, to generate that single phase AC, Line converter control system continuously monitors this HVPT, high voltage potential transformer feedback. What exactly the OHE? And to generate little higher voltage than the OHE voltage, such that this line converter generates single phase AC supply. For example, now input OHE voltage is 25 kV, example. So at that time, the secondary output is 950. Now this uh, line converter generates more than 950 volts so that in the primary it generates more than the 25 kV and obviously the current starts flowing from higher potential to lower potential. When the OHE voltage is 25 kV and in train it is generating let us example 25.1 kV so obviously current starts flowing back from train to OHE that is called regenerative braking. Okay and in as per specification and the standards, uh, all out run uh, time, it should generate 30% of the consumed energy during regenerative braking. And it is even more than that 30% we are uh, achieving existing trains. Is it clear, sir? Regenerative braking and electrodynamic braking concept. Okay. So both motoring way. OHC se motors the current flow ta hai or dynamic braking may electrodynamic braking may motor se lekar OHC the current flow hoga. Okay. Any point you can ask, otherwise I'll continue. Next, this is TCMS train control and management system architecture. So it is in uh, end basic unit. Here, <clears throat> This architecture little bit modified in uh, version two than version one system as per the requirement. So here DTC, MC1, TC1, MC2. All these four coaches will call it as one end basic unit, right? Driving trailer coach, motor coach, trailer coach, motor coach. So in this basic unit in different coaches, uh, coach electronics is distributed across all the four coaches and all coach electronics 
including this communication, we'll call it as architecture or TCMS. Okay, TCMS architecture, train control and management system. So in this, the main part is like uh, the source. Here it is driver desk. By the motorman or driver, jab train chalane ke liye, gaadi chalane ke liye, master controller move karenge, all the signals will be generated here through train lines. And these train line signals will be given to CCU1, CCU2 computers. CCU is a central control unit 1 and 2. These are main train level control units. Pura train level may control karne ke liye, ye CCU1, CCU2 provide kya. And here also it is 100% redundant. There are two CCUs. One fails also the other works normally with appropriate fault message, right? So it is 100% redundant concept. So CCU central control unit receives the train line signals from the driver desk and it converts and it sends the data to all other coaches via this ethernet based communication system. These are communication signals and uh, Part of this, uh, this ECN switches, Ethernet Consist Network switches, these are acts as like junction boxes, modems, to distribute all the signals to all other computers which are placed in other coaches, right? Even here in uh, <coughs> Ethernet switches also, redundancy is there, ECN1, ECN2 switches, if one fails, the other will work normally. And here, uh, even speed recorder is there, speed sensors are connected, then driver display unit is connected and the driver display unit guard side, guard side also one display unit is there. And CCMS in version two, now a new concept implemented by RDSO called a centralized coach monitoring system, especially for RMPU point of view, air conditioning system point of view. Uh, this CCMS uh, cabin is just uh, planned just back to the uh, driver cabin in DTC coach opposite to this pantry area. There is a place uh, allotted for CCMS, Centralized Coach Monitoring System. Uh, from there, a technical staff can monitor all the 16 coaches air conditioning system. And in case of an abnormality, they can give the commands and uh, monitor the uh, feedbacks, everything. So that's why that is called CCMS, Centralized Coach Monitoring System, especially from air conditioning point of view, which is not available in the version one system, the existing trains. And next, Yes, sir. Sir, ये जो जितने जो TCMS हमारा है, इसमें क्या कुछ memory वगैरह भी है कि जो अगर event मान लीजिए कुछ हम कुछ घंटे पहले के या कुछ time पहले के अगर हम उसको analyze करना चाहे backup ले करके. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Study या research की वास्तव में उस समय ये हमारा properly work कर रहा था नहीं कर रहा था इसमें क्या हमें जो data मिल रहे थे. Yes, sir. Actually. अगर हम data analysis point of view से कुछ Yes, sir. I have a point. 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 I have are data hote hain ya kuch suspension data hai suspension ka fault cases bhi record hota rahega ya nahi to kitna pressure hai wo bhi record hota rahega acha acha yes sir it is there ji ji to isme kitne kitne time tak ka backup le sakte hain kuch hai isme actually sir isme different data rehta hai faults jo hai it has to 120 days ka data rehta hai 120 and record yes. का short term memory 72 hours रहता है, long term memory 90 days का रहता है। हम्म। जी जी। audio recording for one hour uh, 24 hours रहता है, video recording for one hour रहता है। ऐसा different different items है। जी जी जी। latest one year का। okay। ठीक है सर right। right। हम्म। next एक BCS है, battery charger system। so battery यहाँ पे battery bank है तो battery charger system and इसमें BMS भी provide किया अभी battery management system। so battery के अंदर ही तो वो BMS computer, BCS computer and इसमें एक PCO passenger comfort unit. So coach के अंदर जितना भी passenger comfort related functions होगा lights control हाँ 
air conditioning system control, yeah, brake control, air suspension below monitoring. So these are all comes under passenger comforts. Uh, so uske liye ye computer provide kiya PCU. And uh, even this FDS also connected with this fire detection system. Fire detection system abhi provide kiya hai. So sabhi coaches ke andar. So uska feedback bhi PCU ko aayega. And yahan pe coaches ke andar do electronic brake control units rahenge. Norbrems ke taraf se jo jaysay EP brake system control ka hai. To uska computers EBCU1, EBCU2. Each bogey ke liye ek. And the four doors, each and every coach is provided with four doors. So for each and every door, one door control unit is there. So all the four doors, DCU1 to DCU4. And then RMPU, roof mounted AC package unit ka control system. Abhi controller jo hai, hum meda ke taraf se develop kiya hai. So ye controlling part RMPU ka bhi meda ka hai. So this computer also placed in this DTC coach, part of TCMS, okay. So this is DTC and further from this ECN switch and from here, yaha se dono ko further all the coaches ko ye transmit kiya jata hai. And ye ECN switches jo hai again to redundant operation. And yaha pe motor coach mein aaya to motor coach mein do line and traction computers rahenge LTC1, LTC2, line and traction computers. So based on the MCU commands, these LTCs uh, work and convert that single phase AC into three phase AC for traction motors. And this may be commonly a PCU hai, which say FDS connected hai, uh, fire detection, uh, detection system and two brake control units connected hai, char door control unit, RMPU control unit. Ye har ek coach mein, ye sara jo bottom mein dikh raha hai, ye pura by default it is one and the same. So, sabhi coaches mein, computer se, passenger computer related computer se connect hoke, kaam karte rahenge. And next when it comes to trailer coach, trailer coach mein little bit different hai yaha pe. Passenger comfort units nahi rahenge. Instead of that, yaha pe uh, MCU, main control unit rahega. Main control unit and main control unit redundant. Again, these are also two units for 100% redundant operation. So, ye main control unit jo hai, it is for traction transformer controlling and providing the safety, pantograph, VCB, all power circuits controlling will take uh, care by this uh, MCU controlling and uh, protections. And at the same time, both motor coaches ko, jo input commands will be issued by this MCU computers only, main control units, MCU one and MCU redundant like both. Okay. So whenever this MCU issues the commands to this LTC, both side in this, uh, this side LTC and this side also LTC units, accordingly LTC units further it works. Okay. So yaha pe, ECN switches ke saath saath one more ETB switch also provided in this trailer coach and uh, this MC coach. This ETB is Ethernet Train Backbone Switch. ECN are for only basic unit level communication up to four coaches. But when it comes to ETB, it is for entire train level communication. So that is the difference between ETB and ECN. In ETB also there are two communication channel, main communication channel and redundant communication channel. If one fails also automatically, it will work with other. And for example, if both fails also, communication point of view, easy and by default in train, system works in normal mode with communication channel, right? Whenever until unless communication is clear, train works in normal mode up to 160 kmph. And after that, if communication fails, both main and redundant channel are both the ECN switches. Then here CCU generates a frequency signal, frequency generator signal. In version one, there is a separate FGU, but now that hardware we have uh, merged in CCUs, central, com central computer unit, and CCU only generates the frequency output signal. That is called FGU frequency generator unit. And this also acts as train line signal and it goes to all the computers. And further, each and every computer converts that the frequency signal into its equivalent to 0 to 100%. And accordingly, the attractive effort and braking effort will be executed in individual motor coaches. So this is just a redundant path to normal communication. And if communication fails also, train work normally without any limitation till up to its 160 kmph with appropriate clear cut message. Okay. Samaj ma'am, communication channel fail ho gaya to, 
ऑटोमेटिकली ये स्विच ओवर हो जाएगा फ्रीक्वेंसी जनरेट यूनिट सिग्नल पे एंड दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी जनरेट सिग्नल से जब गाड़ी चल रहा है उसको हम स्पेशल आरडीएम मोड कहेंगे स्पेशल आरडीएम मोड में विदाउट एनी रिस्ट्रिक्शन अप टू वन सिक्सटी के एमपीएस तक गाड़ी नॉर्मली चलता रहेगा उसको कहेंगे हम स्पेशल आरडीएम मोड इवन फर्दर गाड़ी चलते चलते दट एफ जी ऑल्सो फेल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल फ्रीक्वेंसी सिग्नल ऑल्सो फेल देन गाड़ी रुक जाएगा With appropriate fault message, then we have to change from uh, normal to RDM mode. In master controller, there is a selection switch to work in on position or normal position or RDM position. By default, we should keep it in on position where the train works in normal mode. If normal mode and special RDM mode both fails, then manually we have to change or uh, change that switch to on position to RDM. where the train works with limited speed in rdm rescue drive mode and the speed will be restricted to 60 kmph okay so these are all the normal operations of uh, uh, train train it in uh, in different modes normal mode special rdm mode and rdm mode okay so yahan pe this is about end basic unit both side motor coaches and it is uh, Uh, trailer coach and here in addition to mcu computers uh, there are two more aux computers auxiliary control unit 1 and 2 for each aux converter okay this is about end basic unit tcms architecture when it comes to middle basic unit tcms yahan pe mc1 tc1 mc2 same hai everything only yahan pe difference hai TTC के बदले में NDTC and in NDTC also this is like nothing but normal इसमें एक PCU passenger comfort unit रहेगा battery charger system रहेगा with BMS battery mount management system and fire detection system रहेगा and in one of the NDTC coach even MAR media access router will be placed where it records all the event recorder data and remote remote monitoring system also remotely wherever the train may work but by sitting here in our office we can monitor the train functionality anyone with uh, valid credentials we can connect to server and uh, we can retrieve the data for further analysis that is called a remote monitoring system so wo remote monitoring system and event recorder dono ko hum merge karke media access router pe provide karke one of the ndtc ninth coach actually ndtc 2 mein provide kiya gaya hai okay so this is about architecture or control electronics part in um, uh, train 18 any point to discuss in this okay if it is clear yeah yes sir hello ha ji ha ji sir sir uh, the main communication system please uh, uh, repeat once more main communication Main main, main communication main communication system which is uh, shown by blue lines or uh, uh, yellow lines this okay the train line communication these are uh, light orange uh, so it is this is actually train line signals sir train yeah. line signals and blue line is fgu signal frequency generator signal okay Uh, initially that in, initially the train works on uh, the train line communication system and uh, uh, no uh, no no see, uh, listen here initially the train works in communication network mm -hmm. this system gets input signals from the uh, this driver desk in okay. the train lines to ccu computers central control unit computers mm -hmm. and <coughs> So, class delay this train lines this control central control units generate yeah, all other coaches via this communication network mero main chai nahi pita tumhe pata hai ecn and etb communication so normally gaadi jo hai ecn and etb communication ke through chalta rahega that we call it as normal mode okay if yeah. normal mode fails then the blue signal come into picture ये okay. को जो है 
This is we'll call it as frequency generator signal. It will be generated by both CCU1 and CCU2 in version 2 system. Yes, CCU1 and 2, a frequency output signal generate karega. Wo frequency output signal jo hai 284 se lekar 484 hertz signal rahega range. And this signal will be given to all other computers in individual coaches like PCU, MCU. Hmm? So wherever, whenever these MCU computers read this FGU signal, it convert back into its 0 to 100 percent of tractive effort or braking effort based on the motoring or braking command. And accordingly, it issues the signals to both the motor coaches. Is it clear? So that we'll call it as special RDM mode. Okay. Special RDM mode may be without any restriction, Gadi 160 km hai with appropriate okay. message. Communication fail over hai, Gadi special RDM chal rahe bolke. Automatic change or yoga with appropriate message. Or voice chalte chalte further even FGU signal bhi kharaab ho gaya. Okay. Then, wo gaadi stop ho jayega because no traction. Gaadi stop ho jayega with appropriate clear cut message. Then manually we have to change the selection switch to RDM mode. RDM means rescue drive mode where the train works purely on this train line signals. These train line signals please see here. These are going to CC1 and 2, PCUs, MCU, all other computers. Okay. So, okay. now RDM mode may pure train line signals ke upar gaadi chalega. Usko hum RDM mode kahenge. FGU mode mein chal raha hai to special RDM mode. Communication mein chal raha hai to normal mode. Aur train line signals pe chal raha hai to gaadi RDM mode kahenge. RDM mode mein speed restriction rahega 60 kmph. Normal mode and special RDM mode may without any restriction guard up to 160 kmph. Clear, sir? Yeah, it's clear. Thank you. Okay, any more point to any other one? This is mainly TCMS part. If no issues, then uh, I'll continue further. Ye, ye failure hoga. TCMS. हां जी सर तो ये फेलियर आप बता रहे हैं ना एक सिस्टम फेल होगा तो दूसरा आ जाएगा पिक्चर में यस yes, सर अगर दूसरा भी फेल हो जाएगा तो तीसरा आ जाएगा सिस्टम यस yes, सर है ना यस yes, सर फिर ये आरडीएम मोड पे गाड़ी चलेगा है ना यस yes, सर तो ये एक पर्टिकुलर कोच के लिए पर्टिकुलर कोच में ही होगा या सारा मिला के कंप्लीट सर कंप्लीट हां जो कम्युनिकेशन है ओके okay. Train may communication kahi pe bhi fail hua to wo basic unit kahi pe bhi communication nahi rahega ha kisi ek particular coach may bhi fail hua tab bhi wo picture mein aa jayega system yes sir communication kahi pe bhi all the computers should be connected intact anyway okay, breaks both main and redundant channel plus communication okay. ek fail hua to gaadi special rdm mein nahi aayega usme do channel hai main main communication channel redundant communication channel then how can we find the where then is the failure of the special rdm okay, how, how can we find the where the failure is occurred it will give it will give clear cut message in the display that ki kaun sa basic unit mein kaun sa coach mein kaun sa computer to kaun sa computer communication fail hua that will clearly it will come in the display okay sir thank you okay sir so next to hai TCMS ka major functions. Kya kya major functions jo hai TCMS se kiya jata hai. Uske baare mein discuss kiya to. TCMS interface with the driver desk. Desa abhi tak hum jo discuss kiya. Driver desk se jo bhi signals generate karenge. That directly comes to CCU, uh, TCMS. CCU 1 and 2. CCU 1 and 2 means nothing but TCMS. So. Ye driver desk se interface, interface karte huye, it will collect all the commands, input commands and it share the data to all other coaches in the train formation for closed loop control. Uh, similar way, it gives the commands and it even collects feedback signal from all other coaches and finally it internally records and on display unit it will indicate for normal uh, maintenance staff indication or for uh, crew information. Next, pantograph control. When we give the panto up command from the DTC coach, DTC se coach ke andar driver desk se panto up command diya to, again, 
this TCMS collect that input feedback and it share the data with all other four basic units and it ensures to energize the pantograph in individual coaches or it collects the even feedback and finally it indicates on the display. यदि गलती से कहीं पे भी कोई इश्यू हो के कोई भी एक पैंट हो रेज नहीं हुआ तो इवन दैट क्लियरली इट विल इंडिकेट इन द डिस्प्ले दैट की ऑन द डिस्प्ले दैट दिस सो एंड सो पर्टिकुलर बेसिक यूनिट पैंटोग्राफ ओपन सर्किट लाइट ओके एंड सिमिलर वे वीसीबी कंट्रोल वैक्यूम सर्किट ब्रेकर वंस आफ्टर पैंट हो रेज एंड इफ द ओएचई वोल्टेज विद इन द अलोवेबल रेंज बिटवीन 16 टू 30 देन ओनली टीसीएमएस एनर्जाइज गिव द कमांड्स टू क्लोज द वीसीबी if the voh is out of range then uh, tcms cuts off the vcb command next traction control like hum um, tcms mein discuss kiya ccu 1 and 2 data collect karke master controller se ye common signal kitna percentage of uh, tractive effort or braking effort that signal will be given to uh, all mcu computers in trailer coach then individual <coughs> basic unit mcu computer gives the commands to ltc and finally that ltc con converts that single phase ac into three phase ac and finally that goes to traction motors as tractive effort in motoring and braking effort in dynamic braking so that entire traction control part also will be done by tcms next regenerative brake control and total brake calculation when driver wants to apply the brake by using the uh, master controller then system applies the <coughs> electrodynamic brake first and it will give the feedback how much braking effort it has received from the train and the what exactly the requirement by the motor man or driver and the remaining will be given information to the brake system for electro pneumatic brake so pehle brake master controller ka requirement ke hisab se brake electrodynamic brake apply karega इलेक्ट्रोडायनेमिक ब्रेक से रीजनरेटिव ब्रेक का ब्रेकिंग एफर्ट कितना आया है कैलकुलेट करके द रिमेनिंग परसेंटेज विल बी टेकन फ्रॉम ईपी ब्रेक सो दिस इज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड न्यूमेटिक ब्रेक सो दिस विल कॉल इट एज ब्लेंडेड ब्रेकिंग और रीजनरेटिव ब्रेक पवन सर चार्जर तीसरा so this is about regenerative brake and uh, total brake calculation next brake blending brake blending means that is what so far what we have discussed blended braking or brake blending and interface with rmpu control so continuously tcms uh, gives the commands to rmpus and uh, takes the feedback from the rp rmpus that all the rmpus are working fine or not then interface with the door control guardia motorman if gives a command then based on that uh, it opens the in general it is responsibility of guard to open or close the uh, doors so <clears throat> system tcms based on the guard command it collects the feedback and gives the input to the uh, inputs to all the door control units and uh, it takes the feedback from the door control next interface with brake control so brake brake electronic control unit brake system point of view so ep brake uh, control system point of view this uh, epbus uh, mm, sorry ebcus electronic brake control unit so system gets the feedback from all the ebcus and uh, accordingly tcms uh, controls and compressor control for the ep brake here we require the pneumatic pressure so in each and every basic unit uh, a compressor is provided in uh, dtcr <coughs> in dtc underslung so uska compressor control here in train 18 the mr pressure value is in between 7.5 to 10 bar so compressor cut in cut out will be taken care by uh, controlling action will be done by tcms by monitoring the mr pressure parking brake control in each and every coach here parking brake system is provided to avoid the rolling when the train is in standstill condition so when the train is going to be in standstill condition for longer time then we need to apply uh, manually parking brake so in each and every coach for 1357 wheels uh, the parking brake mechanism is provided by icf so based on the command this tcms gives the commands to parking brake system so that uh, it applies the brake in all the coaches generally parking brake pressure jo hai jaisa bp jaisa 5 bar rahega for normal operation 
and we when we apply the parking brake that pressure becomes zero in zero condition the brake will be applied so this is to make it fail safe mechanism parking brake system jo hai fail safe mechanism in case fail hua to bhi then it applies the brake and light control so tcms jo hai based on the switch feedback it the uh, light control jo hai lighting control uh, karta rahega sabhi coaches mein and roll back detection when we select the forward direction and if the train is rolling in uh, reverse uh, if we system uh, gets the uh, reverse uh, rpm then it detect identify that the train is rolling back and it applies the brake to provide the safety then vcd vigilance control system so in other emus and memos uh, there is a dead man uh, handle concept okay always uh, driver or motorman needs to hold that uh, dead man handle which is kept in the master handle but as it is a long run train uh, in train 18 there is no such concept and here the one more technology is implemented to provide the ensure, ensure the safety that is through vigilance control device like other uh, electric or diesel locomotives okay so up to 60 seconds the system normally monitor karta rahega if it is uh, 60 seconds cross hua to LED blink करते हुए मोर एट सेकेंड्स रहेगा और बजर के साथ में मोर अदर एट सेकेंड्स यानी सिक्सटी प्लस सिक्स एट प्लस एट टोटल सेवेंटी सिक्स सेकेंड्स एंड आफ्टर सेवेंटी सिक्स सेकेंड्स इफ नो फीडबैक कम्स फ्रॉम ड्राइवर देन ऑटोमेटिकली सिस्टम अप्लाइज द ब्रेक दैट इज कॉल्ड विजिलेंस कंट्रोल सिस्टम ट्रू इज कंट्रोल टू रन द ट्रेन एट कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड सो यर एग्जिस्टिंग टू ट्रेन आर वर्किंग एंड मोस्टली इन वन थर्टी के एम पे स्पीड मैक्सिमम लिमिटेड टू वन थर्टी बिकॉज ऑफ ट्रैक कंडीशन सो इन बिटवीन टू स्टेशन जहाँ पे सिग्नल कोई नहीं है थ्रू आउट कंटिन्यूस चलना है तो वेन एवर इट रीचेस टू रिक्वाइड स्पीड मैक्सिमम वन थर्टी देन सिंपली बाई प्रेसिंग द क्रू इज कंट्रोल स्विच ऑटोमेटिकली सिस्टम जो है टी सी एम एस सेम स्पीड पे मेनटेन करता रहेगा and if you should, if you want to come out from the cruise control mode once we need to bring the throttle to coast so that again it will come out from cruise control mode and uh, it respond uh, as per throttle command next neutral section control this neutral section concept is that ki uh, between uh, substation to substation whenever it is uh, entering neutral section there uh, <clears throat> as per uh, train set standards here there is a ens switch expected neutral section before neutral section 250 meters there is a sign board actually for uh, drivers they are trained for that and whenever they reach to that point 250 meter sign board they need to press uh, one ens switch expected neutral section so that automatically tcms will take care about all the functionality so based on the train speed distance is fixed and based on train speed it calculates the time uh, within next to what time it is going to reach the neutral section and accordingly before reaching the neutral section it opens the vcb of that particular basic unit only that particular basic unit and soon after crossing the ohe uh, neutral section again whenever ohe established system tcms gives the commands to close the vcb automatically and similarly for number 2 basic unit number 3 number 4 automatically one by one in display we can find that uh, change or sequence okay that is called neutral section logic only once we need to press the ens button at 250 meter sign board for entry and remaining entire logic will be taken care by tcms and before opening the vcb during neutral section system enters into dynamic brake and to maintain the constant dc link for the auxiliary loads okay so here <clears throat> uh that is even uh, other dynamic brake concept but here neutral section logic point of view system automatically it will exit when only for entry we need to press the switch ens rajesh ji ha ah, ji only at uh, i at a moment of time only two pentos are uh, up na yes yes sir so we are not uh, only two pentos are supplying the electricity to all the four uh, basic units yes sir exactly So four units are not uh, four four pentos are not in the four operation. Pantos. No, 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 sir. Here, as per standards, here in train eighteen, out of four pentos, there is a selection switch. Based on that, only two pentos will be in raised condition for all the time. Okay. okay. And 
uh, this neutral section, VCB, Panto will be in raised condition only, only VCB will get open corresponding to that particular basic unit, which is going to reach the neutral section. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Right. Then different type of test modes we can uh, conduct to ensure the functionality of system during maintenance aspects. And settings, uh, different settings we can conduct through DDU. And event recorder, like as per RDSO, it is uh, short term memory, long term memory. So short term memory is for every one second, one record, long term memory is for every 20 seconds, one record. Okay. So short term memory <clears throat> uh, backup is for 72 hours, lost to three days, and long term memory for latest 90 days. And event recorder also, it is recording in two different places like internal memory and external memory for uh, backup redundancy. In case uh, anything abnormal in uh, internal memory or external memory, the other we can find for analysis purpose. And centralized coach monitoring system. This is a centralized coach monitoring system. Uh, as I told that the uh, CC, RMPU data can be matlab, continuously monitored by the technical crew and in case of any Conditions, if you want to give input commands, then we can give that same. And wheel sleep or slide control. So your system in each and every traction motor, there is a speed sensor. So continuously system monitors all the uh, wheels uh, motor speed and accordingly it uh, monitors the slip or slide control and accordingly it takes the protection. Okay. But in this train sets, as the power is distributed across all the train, so there is no general in general chances that key to go for wheel slip and conditions. So that logic already we have taken care in consideration by the TCMS. And next all train level protections. While working the train normal in run. So there are a lot of different type of protections. Like emergency off loop, emergency brake loop, cab occupancy loop. System TCMS continuously monitors all the loops condition and all the loops should be in healthy condition. Because of any abnormality, if any loops open, then automatically it provides the safety by cutting off the traction with appropriate message along with uh, lamp indication. Okay. So these are all the functions, major functions done by the TCMS, train control and management system. <clears throat> so next when it comes to redundancy concept, redundancy in uh, redundancy means uh, Ek fail hua to bhi dusra jo hai kaam karte hui hai automatically without any matlab functionality point of view interruption uh, na provide karne jaisa uh, the hardware jo design karte hai usko hum redundancy concept bolte hai. So control unit level redundancy here major functionality point of view everywhere we have provided two to computers like okay like CCU1, CCU2, MCU1, MCU2 and PCU. In each coach, we have provided one PCU, but the redundancy will get from the adjacent PCU coach, adjacent coach PCU. That redundancy we have provided in PCU level from the adjacent coach. So major PCMS control units or redundancy we have provided in all control units. If one fails also, it will switch out to other. And communication media redundancy, by communication point of view, ECN1, ECN2 switches. If one fails also, it automatically switch out to other. And in ETB also, there are two communication lines like main communication channel, redundant communication channel. If main fails, by default, it will work with main. If main fails, automatically it will switch over to redundant channel with appropriate message. So that Jesse Gadi shed me aiga, I'm attend karke per se main channel pe automatically wo functionality ko switch over jayenge. Next, data recording redundancy. Recording point of view also, we have uh, recording the data in different locations like internal memory and external memory. Internal memory is uh, with 32 GB memory and external memory with 8 GB. So internal memory may be data record and the same thing, the same data will be recorded in externally. But uh, some limitations are there, uh, calls and all with uh, limited time in external memory. So like that latest data we can find in both internal and external. In case one fails also, we can retrieve the data from other and uh, we can do the analysis further. And finally, this auxiliary redundancy. There are two auxiliary converters in each basic unit. Okay. So in general, <clears throat> aux converter one and aux converter two uh, loads are fixed. They have shared in uh, among that basic unit. And in case auxiliary converters fail, 
then the adjacent basic unit ox converter will provide the supply to self and as well as the faulty ox converter basic unit. Here the ox converters are designed for almost like 200 percent. Okay, so in general during for normal operation all the ox converters loaded up to 50 percent only. So in case of any ox converter failure in version one local change or concept is there, but in version two uh, we have gone for the global change or to provide the supply to all the loads 100 percent to avoid the limitations. So now uh, global change or contractors will get energized if one basic unit ox converter faulty and uh, adjacent basic unit ox converter provide the supply to both uh, basic units. 100 percent loads will work normally. So these are all the redundant con redundancy concepts. <clears throat> okay. So further this uh, line interaction converter. So already we have discussed in the power scheme only. This is one line interaction converter. This is other line interaction converter. In a single uh, one motor coach, two line interaction converters to provide the supply to two two traction motors. Uh, this line can line interaction converter input supply is a single phase AC from the traction transformer secondary winding. And this line and traction converter converts that single phase AC into three phase AC supply and it provides supply to two two traction motors in parallel. Okay. So eight bogey may do motors range, do motors ko parallel may supply provide kiya jayega. Right. And there is a earthing switch in motor coach under slung. During maintenance, this DC earthing switch should close so that uh, uh, safety ensure karte huye functionality during maintenance people jo hai kaam kar sakte hai. And this line attraction converters, each converter rating is now 455 kVA converters. Okay. So, just as we have discussed, kya hai, ek line attraction converter jo hai, do do traction motors ke liye, and uh, ek traction transformer jo hai, do traction mo motor coaches ko supply provide karega, and each motor coach ke andar do line attraction converter, hai. ek winding se ek LTC kam karenge. And each line and traction converter provide the three phase AC supply to two two traction motors, right? And all these traction line and traction converters are water cooled traction converters in version two system. Now in uh, train set forty four. So here we can find this uh, line converter with uh, its a uh, pre charging circuit, and this is traction transformer secondary. Okay, so. What are this uh, 950 volts uh, single phase AC supply in the initially through pre charging uh, circuit and after that main charging circuit provides the supply to this line converter IGBT based line converter, which acts as a rectifier and uh, it converts into DC during motoring. And when it comes to traction converter, this is our traction converter, three legs, which generates a three phase AC from the input DC supply. And this three phases supply will be given to two two traction motors in parallel. Next auxiliary power supply <clears throat> is auxiliary power supply. Actually, uh, in train 18, we'll call it as auxiliary power supply and uh, this uh, divided into two parts. And for this auxiliary power supply, um, one is auxiliary converter unit, the other is battery charger uh, system. So in trailer coach, auxiliary converter unit is provided. And that auxiliary converter unit inside it is divided into uh, two parts like auxiliary converter one and auxiliary converter two. So each auxiliary converter gets the input supply from the separate auxiliary winding of the traction transformer secondary windings. Out of six windings, there are two auxiliary windings. So each winding gives the input supply to one auxiliary converter. And the auxiliary converter converts that uh, uh, 285 to 450 volts. Uh, Single phase AC to 415 volts, 3 phase 50 hertz supply and 110 volts DC supply. Okay. In the auxiliary converter 2 only, there is a uh, DC DC converter module. Actually, this APS auxiliary power supply divided into two cubicles one auxiliary converter unit and the other battery charging system. Auxiliary converter unit ACU is placed in uh, trailer coach under slung and uh, battery charging system BCS is placed in DTCR and DTC under slung. And this auxiliary converter unit further divided into three modules like AC1 module, AC2 module, and DC DC converter. Ox converter 1, ox converter 2, and DC DC converter. Right. So here the block diagram we can find this uh, auxiliary converter. 
this is a traction uh, transformer secondary winding auxiliary converter output comes to this here and through fuse and uh, here also pre-charging and main contactor concept is given with voltage and current sensor it comes to line converter so this line converter converts that single phase ac in general whenever the input 25 kv supply this auxiliary winding generates around uh, 375 volts single phase ac that 375 volts supply comes to this line converter and this line converter converts that single phase ac into dc and here also the dc link will be maintained constant at 630 volts dc this 630 volts dc further it goes to uh, here internally there is an inverter which converts that supply into 415 volts three phase ac supply 50 hertz and through LC filters and uh, voltage sensor, current sensor, ELD, finally it comes to this uh, contactor. If everything is okay, then the supply will be given to this contactor. And uh, once if this three pole contactor picks up, it goes to output terminals to provide the supply to all the loads. And from this, uh, a tapping is taken to this blower. There is a blower, uh, this auxiliary converter unit is air cooled converter and auxiliary converter divided into aux converter 1 and aux converter 2. This aux converter 2 also same, but by default, this blower works on aux converter 2 supply. So by default, this contactor will be in energized condition. So that supply comes from AC2 and this blower cools the entire unit. In case this supply fails, automatically system energize this contactor so that the AC1 provides a supply to this blower. And here there is a uh, additional shed supply connector provided in version 2. In existing two trains, uh, there is no uh, provision of this uh, shed level modification we have done. But by default in design itself, now we have made a provision to provide the shed supply connector. So in during maintenance, if no OH is available, but directly we can give the 415 volt supply here and uh, we can uh, ensure the functionality of all the loads even battery charging system also. Further, we'll discuss about this battery charging, 110 volts DC. So that is about uh, supply connector. From externally, we need to give this uh, supply to ensure the uh, sub-assembly's functionality, loads functionality. And from the aux converter to DC link, a tapping is taken to DC-DC converter. And this 630 volts DC converts back into 110 volts DC for battery charging and to provide the supply to all the loads 110 volts dc loads okay so this is about auxiliary power supply and next layout point of view uh, major items like dtc under ndtc under frame compressor battery battery charger these are provided in motor coach under frame line and traction converters traction motors brake chopper resistors in trailer coach under frame transformer auxiliary converter and in roof pantograph and vcb these are all placed layout point of view. Next, when it comes to electrical cabinets, ECC, electrical control cabinets, in each and every coach, one electrical control cabinet is, uh, is placed. In <clears throat> DTC coach, we'll call it as a CRW panel, tab rear wall panel, front and back views, here we can find. So in this CRW panel, entire train level and as well as DTC coach level controls are provided in this. So here we can find the doors open condition, circuit breaker panel, switch panel, driver cab AC unit. Okay, these are all the commands. And the internal, even further, if you open the doors, then finally we can find these are all CCU1, CCU2, uh, PCU computer, electronic brake control units, and the NVR system. Hmm. So gigabits, ECN switches. So these are all the uh, units. And backside, we can find this driver cab AC unit. So this is about CRW panel, which is uh, uh, placed in DTC coach, just back to the driver. And in this CRW panel, this is electrical control cabinet provided for entire uh, train level and as well as DTC coach level controls. And in this panel, it is provided with this uh, CCU, central control unit one and two and PCU computers, IFTCU, infotainment control unit. So information and entertainment, that part of the uh, display units and uh, this uh, system is provided. So to provide the supply to that uh, display units, there is a 
infotainment control unit that is also placed in CRW panel. And for a CCTV system point of view, NVR, network video recorder to capture the data from the cameras, this NVR. And PIS car control unit for audio visual information, car control unit is placed in this via Ethernet based switches. Uh, this uh, data takes, uh, of course, uh, tomorrow we'll discuss in detail about this PIS and CCTV topics. And CAB AC control unit and uh, smoke detecting sensors. Then EBCU, electronic brake control unit one and two, and uh, TPWS provision, MCBs, relays, contactors, everything we have provided in the CRW panel. So these are all the sub assemblies. Next, when it comes to uh, DTC coach, one more unit we are placing in the uh, just opposite to lavatory. In DTC coach, wider uh, lavatory is provided for uh, even disabled persons also. So in front of that lavatory, uh, there is a RMPU panel we have provided, uh, which is provided with RMPU controller and its contactors, relays and all uh, selection switches. So it is uh, non-drive end side, opposite to driver cabin side, in front of the lavatory, this uh, RMPU panel is provided. This is also from MEDA. So internally, this RMPU controller is provided to control both RMPU1, RMPU2, AC systems. <clears throat> so these are all the sub assemblies RMPU control unit, MCB, smoke sensor, and terminal box. Relays and contact. Next, trailer coach ECC panel. Uh, so far, we have seen about DTC coach uh, electronics. Next, when it comes to trailer coach, in trailer coach, electrical control cabinet. In, uh, other than DTC, we'll call it as ECC. Coach name with ECC, like TC, ECC, MC, ECC, and DTC, ECC, like electrical control cabinet. So this ECC controls that particular coach level functionality. So in this TCC here, we have provided MCU1, MCU2 for MCU redundant, brake electronic control unit 1 and 2, ECN switches, and NVR and IFTUC units. Okay, these are all placed in. TC coach ECC electrical control cabinet and top and bottoms we can find this hotting connectors cable lamps and all for input and output connections. So in this uh, TC ECC again almost all like the same but only this computers MCU one and two, RMPU control unit, then IFTCU, NVR, PIS, Ethernet switches. So all these like sensors, relays, contactors, everything is common in all the ECC. Next, MCECC. Okay, motor coach electrical control cabinet. In this MCECC, here only PCU computer, PCU computer, EBCU one and two computers, ECN switches, then IFCT, IFTCU units, NVR unit. So these are all placed for this coach level, motor coach uh, level control system, along with its relays, contactors, wiring, and all the PCU, RMP control unit, IFTCU, PISCU, PIS car control unit, Ethernet switches, smoke sensor, EBCU, MCBs, these are all common in all the coaches. Next, NDTC, non driving trailer coach, last type of coach. In this NDTC, <clears throat> we have placed here, even uh, in addition to your regular items, even here we have provided MAR and uh, CHMM. MAR is media access router for entire event recorder and uh, remote monitoring system functionality. Okay. Like it is a data management system. From CCU 1 and 2 data, it collects and it shares the data with all other uh, data management functions, like for event recorder, uh, for indicating on the display unit, or for uh, sending the data to server for remote monitoring system, Okay, for internal recording, external recording. So for all this, this MAR, Media Access Router, and there is a external memory called CHMM, Bash hardened memory module with the 8 GB capacity. So in this event recorder, short term memory, long term memory, our latest flaws, okay, all the data will be recorded in this. And here one PCU and uh, easy IFTCU, uh, Ethernet switches and all provided in this. Okay. So the same here we can find PCU, RMPU control, IFTCU, MAR, CHMM. And all. So these are all part of like TCMS, train control and management system. All different computers in all the different coaches. 
Next, finally, it come, when it comes to this uh, driver console, <clears throat> so this is the driver desk, complete driver desk in uh, DTC coach. So this complete driver desk uh, we are supplying from Meda to end user uh, manufacturing units. So here, uh, this uh, display is uh, part of our TCMS called uh, the DDU driver display unit. And this is uh, for TPWS or TCOS, any other uh, system. Next, a uh, speed recorder. And this MCP main communication panel for uh, PIS system and even mic for uh, intercommunication or any manual announcements to the passengers. And here there is a master controller for operation and a brake controller with gauges. And this is uh, in front of guard or assistant driver for uh, CCTV system. And uh, there are different buzzers and uh, yeah. Even assistant driver or guard also can apply the emergency brake. Uh, for that, brake handle is provided here. So this is straight view and uh, isometric left side view we can find here. So this is what the driver desk. So complete driver desk from Meda. We are supplying to production units. Okay. So this is what about from Meda point of view uh, about TCMS. It's a sub assemblies and it's a major functionality. So, any points uh, you can raise? So, today's topic TCMS, so far it is covered. If you have point to discuss, please you can raise it. Sir, the latest working principle of TCMS is the load bank system and the suspension system monitoring. Sir, you have to do it. Write up, of course, uh, during trials, there may be a chance of a lot of changes because original so drawings approval ke liye jo beja hai aur aaj ka date mein hi lot of changes wo kiya ja hai. So once a train manufacturer okay, trials complete hua to, then we'll come to know the final things. Okay. So literature already under preparation and but a lot of changes are uh, being taken place. And I even, of course, further also chances have. So once finalized, not only air suspension system, everything, all the details will be circulated, like as what we have provided for version one system, train 18. Okay. Okay. Comments ke liye to mil jate hain log ke, lekin final documents jo hai abhi, usko wapas jo ham log jo chaate the, uske hisab se hua ki nahi hua. Kyunki communication gap nahi ho, to isliye latest agar hamare paas available ho. Hmm. Okay, sir, that way, exchange at the heap will circulate. Okay. So, RDF or uh, RDS or ICF will uh, circulate to you people. Right. Sir. Any more uh, technical points to discuss? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. So, this is what the can you please provide the description part of the TCMS functions? You have just uh, highlighted the only points, sir. Can you please provide the description of each and every function? Yeah, yeah. description that is what, sir. Everything will uh, provide through manuals. There is an operator manual, maintenance manual already provided for version one trains. You can get it from uh, uh, Basti Shared or ICF or even our people from uh, local. But uh, for version two, it is under preparation. Focus. Yeah. Uh, sir, das sir, uh, up hai sir, um, or uh, CI sir uh, from Irmi. So, shall we close the session, sir, or from your side, any points to? Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you for uh, sparing your valuable time to know thank about you, sir. system about the yeah. thing. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. There we'll discuss about PAS and CCTV system and display, sir. Okay. Thank okay, you. sir. Okay. Thank you.